F plus your T chart. Okay. Yes, it can be Taylor. Great question. Is it a peer review of the template or a rough draft? Because I've noticed I during this 30 minutes, you guys, I went into your rough drafts and started actually looking at them and it gave given you back some feedback for some of you that handed it in. Some of you use the template and some of you just use a Word doc. Totally either way worked. Okay. So if you've got it on the template, that's what you're going to upload. If you've got your rough draft on a Word document, you're going to upload that. It's completely up to you. Okay. So yes. So I'm going to go over the steps with you guys um, on how to actually upload this and show what it looks like. So when you're in the assignment of the descriptive paragraph peer review, I've given you step-by-step instructions on how to do this. Now, those of you that have been in Moodle already, or um, I'm trying to think if if you guys have worked with Miss Wood on discussion forms yet, then this is exactly how we do it. All right. So you can go through these steps. Nice. I, I think they're nice and clear. Awesome. That's good to know. Thanks, Abby. So it's good to know that you guys have done this in ADC already. So what you're going to do is scroll to the very bottom and then you guys will see add a new discussion topic, right? So when you click on this, then you've got to scroll all the way to the bottom again, right? And this is what it looks like. So this is where you're going to put your subject. So you're going to put your name here. So I'm just going to put student name. And then in the message in your text box, Yes, instead of actually typing text, you guys, you can put an attachment. So this little piece of paper right there with the paper clip, now we can add files. So we can just, you can either drag and drop your Word document straight into here or your template and your T-chart. So there's actually two documents that you guys want to put in here your rough draft plus your T-chart, okay? Or you can upload it using the add button and then browse, go find it on your computer and then upload this file, okay? So there's two ways to do that, all right? And then once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, nice and easy. Oh, you just hit the refresh. And because I'm not actually going to add anything, you guys, um, it's not going to actually upload. All right. So that's the steps. Okay. To do that. And I'm just going to, uh, go back to my PowerPoint just to make sure that I have, uh, yeah. So, um, if you do Abby, if there are two documents that you are going to upload, which there is, I'll go back and make sure in the settings that you are allowed to upload multiple documents. All right. So don't do it like right now. Just make sure that, uh, by the end of the day that you guys are uploading it. No, you do not have to do a self assessment for this Taylor because this is your peer assessment for somebody else. Now there's a second step to this. Once you've actually uploaded it. Okay. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly assign you guys a student who you're going to pair up with. Okay. And then you're going to go in, find your partner's post, download their rough draft. You're going to do some assessment of it. Use the criteria that we've come up with as a class. And you are then are going to have to either, uh, highlight it, right? Or if it's easier, you can just type in straight into the message box, your, uh, 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 feedback for them. Okay. Again, make sure that they know specifically, um, what's, what specific examples you're, you're talking about related to the criteria. All right. Then you can go back to the original post of your partner and you'll see in the bottom part of the assignment, you guys, there's a reply button. So you can either upload that back to them as a reply and in the message section, you can either create a sandwich compliment. I love sandwich compliments, right? So you start out with something positive. I think I gave you guys a sample um, sandwich compliment in the assignment. Yeah. 
right here, right? So you start out with uh, something that is positive and then something that you're, uh, that they can work on and you end with something positive. So it's like a sandwich. All right. Um, and that's where you guys are heading with the peer review. Okay. Then what you do is in the ratings, there's a drop down menu out of five and you're going to see this. Let me make my PowerPoint look nice. All right. In the ratings menu, you'll see this. Okay. And you just click on that drop down menu and you can give your partner a mark out of five based on the criteria. If they've hit all the criteria, give them a five. If you know their spellings off, give them a four, whatever, however you guys feel based on this. Okay. Um, totally up to you, Abby. That's a great example. So if for an example, most of you guys, when you did your highlighting the criteria, you just used one color. And that's totally fine because I understood, oh, she's highlighting that because of the vocabulary you used, or you're highlighting this because you used a simile, right? As create as figurative language, so on and so forth. If you want to color code your partner's paragraph and then specifically highlight in that color related to which criteria, that is up to you guys. Okay. So definitely by the end of today, you guys, I would like, actually not by the end of today, let's say by the next class, okay? There's some people who still haven't uploaded their rough draft either into the assignment, into the, so I can take a look at it as well, okay? So make sure, um, Alex, okay, I'm obviously not being clear here. Alex asked if we were writing a paragraph about uh, catching the moon. No. The only reason why you read that short story, you guys, is just to ingrain in your brain that imagery, how that author used imagery for their story. The paragraph that you're uploading is your descriptive paragraph on your um, significant impact or your significant situation, a significant event in your life that you chose from your EKG. Okay. That's the paragraph that you're uploading for your uh, peer review. All right. So by next class, I'm hoping that everyone will have peer reviewed somebody else's paragraph. Because then once you're done that, right, just the rough draft is not your good copy, Taylor. All right. It's because then after that, then you'll notice the assignment after that is your good copy. So once you've received your, um, peer draft, uh, assignment back, then you can go in, finish your good copy. It should be on a Word document, okay? That review the criteria once again, okay? This is where you can self-assess, okay? And this assignment is out of 10. Your good copy paragraph is out of 10, all right? So this is a major assignment for you guys. Now, Abby, I would say, uh, the good copy I would say is due, I'm hoping by next class. So I don't see you guys, I think again, until, uh, do I see you guys tomorrow? I can't remember. My handy dandy sidekick, Mr. Ross is just quickly handing me. That's what I thought. So Wednesday, you guys, Wednesday is the next day, time I see you guys. So that gives you a couple days to peer review and get that done. All right. Now you're probably wondering, well, who do I, who do I peer review? All right. So let's go. Everybody quickly raise your hand in Blackboard and we'll do the same process that we did the last time I used this strategy. All right. So if everyone can click on the hands up and it'll reorder you, you guys within Blackboard. Fantastic. And once everyone has their hand up in Blackboard, then I will uh, lay out who's going to go with who. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to flip up my thing here so I can read. So really easy. You guys will see that you're numbered down Blackboard, right? So Sophia and Chloe, you guys are going to switch papers. All right. Devin and Bria, Anna and Abby. Haley and Ava, Jack and Savannah, Avery, Jade, Shana, Taylor, and then Andrew and Alex. 
And actually, let's go um, the last three. Andrew, Alex, and Haley. Can you guys actually go as a group of three? Between the three of you, decide who's going to switch with who. And then you guys can do some peer review that way. All right. So that's who you need to look for when in the discussion form. If there's any confusion, if there's any, um, uh, <laughs> that's fine. That's going to happen, Taylor. There she is. Okay. So Lily just, uh, I think Lily just joined again. So I think that should be great. So let's go back. So Andrew and Alex, you guys are going to partner up and then Haley and Lily, you guys are going to partner up. All right. Within for the peer review. Okay. And I'll make sure, uh, to jot this down as well. So I know who's peer reviewing who. All right. So you guys have a lot of steps that you need to accomplish. That is it for live classroom. I'm going to stay in Blackboard for the next, uh, just under an hour here for the next about 50 minutes until noon. And if you guys have any questions about what you need to do, please let me know. Okay. Send me a message. It may take me a couple minutes to get back to my office to respond to you guys, but definitely, uh, let me know if you guys have issues, uh, whether it's who was your partner or whatever it is. Okay. So we'll see you guys in a few minutes back in Blackboard, but this is it for the live session. All right. Bye guys.